What up guys, it's Nick here. And I'm gonna give you kind of just a little setup video, not a whole lot to it, because I keep the sled mostly stock, but I'm gonna show you everything that I do to set the sled up exactly how I like it. So uh, what do we got now? I think three rides on it, probably about 50 miles or so. And uh, so pulled the sled into the shop and uh, just gonna go through everything. Just belts, track tension, uh, the chain tension, Probably just give most bolts just like a thorough look through. Uh, things kind of seem to loosen up a little bit that first hundred miles. So, so I'll just show you guys how to adjust this real quick for the secondary clutch. All right, so I loosen that nut up, and I'm actually backing it off a little bit. It's going to tighten the sheaths together, and it's going to push that belt up back and forth until I see that those ridges are coming up right there, and so. Just about perfect for me. That's exactly how I like it. Let me see here. Get you guys a real good idea on how I run it. So the bottom of that ridge is just, if anything, it's just a little bit under. Yep. That's exactly how I like it. And I run all the stock clutching. So this is a low, low altitude clutching, and I really like it. It seems like uh, they've maybe got less steep ramps the engagement's real crisp the engagement's super smooth and uh yeah so we'll keep moving on uh track tension's good uh belt tension and deflection's good we got the chain case tension is good okay so uh i'll be keep it real simple with suspension i uh keep the front shocks really stiff and that just helps soak up landings and uh, as well as soak up the real bad bumps on the trail. All right, so in the rear, we have a front shock, we got a back shock, and then we have torsion springs as well. And so the all the way the back rear shock, I keep it pretty soft, as well as the torsion springs are right at uh, like a three out of five on stiffness. This just helps keep the back of the snowmobile a little bit softer. I can uh, play a little bit more, I can push it into the snow. It helps me do uh, technical maneuvers and little tricks on steep terrain. The front shock, it's gonna be right in the middle as well. If anything, a little bit stiffer than the rear shock. And uh, again, that's just to make the back a little bit more soft and, and playful with the skis. So, uh, next up is the limiter strap. That's this guy right here. And so uh, I'm not sure what every sled comes with from the factory, but uh, mine was sucked up even higher, you know, up here. And so I've actually let it out two notches. And what this does is it lets, you know, the front of the track down and it lets the skis come up. And so it's actually gonna make the sled harder to climb hills and harder to hold a side hill, but it makes it a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more fun to ride for me. And so uh, just for anybody wondering how to adjust that, uh, you're gonna pull this nut off and you'll let this strap out. You see these holes? I can still adjust another strap length down. And uh, I like to keep a little bit of tension on it. It seems to help uh, keep from the drivers from slipping at all. So next up is the bars. First up, I got a four inch Skidoo riser. I think it came with a six. It's a little bit too tall for me. Uh, next, I just I make sure to keep the thumb throttle a little bit loose. That way if I, if I hit it hard during a line or on a, you know, landing a jump, I don't break it or hurt my hand. It just twists a little bit and usually I ride out just fine with it after it twists even. Over here we got the brake. I usually pull the brake lever up just a little bit. That's why it's really easy to grab with one hand uh, or one finger. I mean, it's, uh, you're not sacrificing any of your grip strength or your dexterity on the bars. Uh, you can just get a hold of it if you need a brake tap in the air or if you need to slow down in a tree line. It's always right there. I'm really digging this, this short lever that comes from Skidoo on the Gen 5s this year. But other than that, the only thing I want to do is maybe get a bar pad here uh, just for some extra safety. I don't really need the, the rookie handle. So, but yeah, uh, pretty simple. I keep the sled pretty much all stock. Uh, that's why I'm really pumped about this sled. I'm gonna get it uh, straight from the factory. It's gonna be exactly what I want for the most part. That's pretty much what I do for it. I might shim up the springs a little bit and continue to adjust the suspension a tiny bit as I you know, kind of learn more about how the sled's reacting. But yeah, cool deal. I appreciate you guys watching, thanks. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys tune your sleds up to maybe ride more aggressively or 
just learn a little bit more about how to adjust your sled.